this is the reason I did the uh, the podcast was because I want to take people like you and take our fans on a journey on your journey on how you were able to do this that the other because a lot of times people don't really put your whole story together like they see snippets or sure. you know snapshots of your life right. you know what i'm saying you have played these like really dope characters that really stand out like how the hell you do that how do you go from you know old dog to darius love hall completely different dead prison completely different and then frankie lyman wow Frankie Lyman, the, Frankie Lyman <laughs> is a whole nother game lane. It's like a Miles Davis slash, you know, wow. like Prince character. Because Frankie Lyman was was a young superstar. He was a young superstar. In the 50s? In the 1950s, 60s, yeah. who was uh, the inspiration to people like Michael Jackson. Correct. And a lot of those young um, he was a artists. Child star, he was a yeah. child star, right? Yeah. And what he didn't realize is the business side of things. Like most people who get into the entertainment, they don't understand there's a huge business side of things. But being a young uh, superstar coming out of uh, a community where they didn't have that happening, At I mean, he didn't, he didn't know how to read a contract. They didn't, he didn't understand those, those terms. And he wrote these songs like Why Do Fools Fall In Love and um, uh, a, a bunch of others, but he did not, you know, get the credit for it or he didn't get the money for it. Um, and along his journey, you know, he decided that, uh, you know, he loved women, right? And that he would marry I mean, them. They're really nice. <laughs> yeah, they're very nice. They're very nice. But the thing is, he decided <laughs> to marry them and, and, and it got to a place. And once he had passed away of an of a overdose years later, you know, there was a lot of money that had been accumulated. And, you know, the money needed to go to the rightful oh, heir. Yeah. yeah, who is? Who, who is the? Who is it? And the whole movie about, you know, who truly was the rightful heir to his estate or those those earnings because he didn't have any any children um, um, that I can recall at the moment. But um, yeah, so it was great, man, for me to be able to do, you know, movies like Menace and then do you know, movies like Dead Presidents and, and Love Jones and To Do Why the Fools Fall in Love. You ask, how do how do I do it, man? Yeah, I that's just incredible never, though. I, I never wanted to stop. Right. I never wanted to be put in a box. I always wanted to challenge myself. And I felt like these characters and these opportunities were so different. Yeah. I didn't want to play a bunch of different old dogs. Or right, right. Like yeah, that. you I jump right out of that and go I to went, something the, else. The movie that I went to do right after Menace yes. was a movie called The Inkwell. Oh, the Inkwell. Yeah, the Inkwell. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that, the Inkwell. That's the first movie I ever seen that made me want to go to the vineyard. Man, go because I had vineyard. never been. You know, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never been to no vineyard. Yeah, I'm upstate, like, where is that? That's where they people would go. Black folks would yeah. go. I didn't even and, know we went to the beach. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we ran. We ran our own thing. Yeah, so we made a right. movie about it, man, and a coming of age story. Mm. And for me to be able to say, okay, I'm gonna look and sound so different from old yeah. dog mm. that you know. At the time, I thought I was, yeah, people were going to catch on. They didn't catch on until later. They didn't, when I say catch on later, didn't see the, the intention behind mm -hmm. those decisions. Correct. Because I never wanted to stay, you know, in one lane. So later on, people begin to say, oh, okay, Menace, the Inkwell, Dead Presidents, then love Jones. Yeah, man. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, 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 you kill me because I, I always feel like the game or the industry does not give you your flowers the mm. way they should because it's not, it's not many of guys like you um, who are able to transform so seamlessly into another character mm. you know what i mean you see a lot of white actors do it you know like uh you go let's just say uh gina uh giovanni rabisi mm -hmm. like he's he's a stellar actor Incredible but he can range. go yeah. like you go to another movie yeah. like i feel like it's so hard for me to make those kind of transitions i have to really do a lot of work because people know my personality sure. do you know what i'm saying no no we we here's the deal i i you, you point out uh something i think is really important to to know in the industry that we have and this is not about pulling a race car the truth of the matter is for so long you know black folks we we don't govern 
over the industry in mm -hmm. terms of decision making. Correct. Right. And so we work, you know, twice as hard and sometimes get, you know, twice as less. <laughs> right. Like you don't get <laughs> we don't get this. We don't get our just due. Right. But that doesn't define us and it doesn't stop us. Right. Right. And so I really feel like, you know, things are changing now because I feel like, you know, had there been studio executives or network execs at the time to see what I was doing, mm -hmm. things could have been a lot different. I mean, I'm not complaining. I feel like I've had an incredible uh, journey and the journey continues, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I certainly do know that my career uh, or something in terms of how uh, things have played out in my journey, right. if it were perhaps someone from a different community, you might, yeah, it, it'd be, it'd be. Now here's, I, a, I'll be, I would have been getting those million, million dollars, dollars yeah. back, back in <laughs> back in those days. Right, right, right. So that's why I was so blown away because right. I felt like I was doing the work, but a lot of times the money you wasn't. Was, you, the check wasn't there. It came later. Later. Yeah, it did. It come, it, for it guys, did come, it for did guys later. and girls that are. Are actors or who are aspiring actors, when you have a career like yours, what was your motivation? Did you ever have points in your career where you felt like, oh my God, man, like, you know, what's what's gonna be the thing for me to break out or I hope this movie, like what what kept you encouraged and kept you persistent? Well, honestly, man, I just kind of kept my head down mm -hmm. and just stayed true to the work and the art artistry. You're right. You know, I didn't really want to get caught up into this is going to be the one, mm -hmm. the one to do what? To to make me a millionaire? Right. Um, I felt like that would come. Mm -hmm. uh, was this going to be the one that would change my entire life? Uh, I just didn't get caught up in that. My parents always taught my brothers, Leron and Lamar and myself to, you know, run the marathon and not the sprint. Correct. And so as opposed to focusing on the things that I felt like I should have been getting, I was good with what I was I, and you I made got, the best of it. Yeah, I made the best of People it. People don't know how many no's we get. Like, you know how many movies I went up for, and I'm like, damn. <laughs> right. God damn it. But that's part of the that's yeah, the yeah, that's, yeah. that's like, nature, like I remember when I went up for uh and I swear to God, I thought I killed that goddamn audition. And um who got the movie? What's my man? <laughs> What movie was it? It was for uh, the girl, the girl who was the Clint Eastwood movie. What was the name of the movie with the boxer? Oh, you're talking about um, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, who knows? yeah, um, Million Dollar Baby. So okay, so I auditioned for Million Dollar with Baby with Hillary Swank. With Hillary Swank, right? right. And the brother who's it. Excellent actor who I love. No, 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 no shade on him, but he killed it too. It was Anthony Mackie. Yeah, Mackie. So Anthony Mackie, Mackie. and, and sure. Mackie, nice with him. Mackie, you know, woo! Yeah, Anthony, Anthony Mackie, Mackie nice. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was like, I right. gotta go up against Mackie, <laughs> woo! Because Mackie don't do nothing but dramas. Oh yeah. He, so he, I'm he, like, ah, oh, shit! I gotta go in my, I gotta go in my drama bag. Sure. And I, I wasn't, I wasn't good enough for that. No, one. no, no, no. 